barbershop conversations feel free hit the subscribe button so i just watched jason sosa against stephen smith fight hell of a fight hell of a fight hell of a fight i um i have jason sosa winning by unanimous decision um it's definitely <laughs> something like it compares to Louis Ortiz and uh, Malik Scott. Malik Scott needs to retire. I don't know what. To, maybe be a radio person. Now. I don't know, but he's thrown three. His three losses, he's thrown all three. Not showing up, taking money, and and you can argue that he still fights because at the heavyweight division, you don't have to make weight. So he's one of the guys that you can never tell is if he's training, he's uh, is he in shape for the fight? I have no idea. But getting back to the Liam Smith Sosa fight, Smith was knocked down once early in the fight. Well, let me preface this: it's a bad year for the Smith family. This is second attempt at trying to get a world title. He fails. His brother Liam Smith, Beefy Smith, comes over to America, Dallas, Texas, and loses his WBO belt to Canelo. So. It's just been a bad second half of the year for the Smith family. And uh, Jason Sosa will live to fight another day. And we'll see who he fights next. I remember, if I remember correctly, it's supposed to be a Javante Davis fight in the makings or something like that. But then he ended up taking this fight. I have no idea. But uh, feel free to put in the comments section. But uh, good fight. Very good fight. Toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Uh, you definitely could tell it was a good fight by the reactions of the fighters at the end of the fight. Whenever the fighters throw the last punch and hug, for the most part, you know it's a good fight. Like like, like a genuine hug, not just touch gloves and rub shoulders. And But uh, now they're walking across the ring, holding both hands up as, as they, when you know you're in a good fight. Both fighters go from corner to corner with their hands up. And now we're just waiting on a decision. And I uh, hear you guys. I'll let you guys hear it. Ken makes a fight of the year. It's definitely like a uh, stub hub type of uh, stub hub type of a feeling. And Stanley Christodoulou scores about 116 to 112, all three in favor of the winner. And still, champion Jason. Jason Sosa wins by unanimous decision. 117, 111, 117, 111, 116, 112, I believe. So now we're off to Danny Garcia. See if he can knock this guy out in under four. We may have fireworks. Keith Thurman is there. So sit back, hold your seats. We got a long day. Now we can take a break and watch this Clemson-Pittsburgh game because it's going down to the wire, top of the fourth quarter. So barbershop conversation. Jay Sosa retains his belt. Javante Davis, maybe I have no idea what the hell is going on. But uh, he wins. Uh, Liam Smith family has got another loss. Um, this Christmas they'll be beltless. I, I, I don't know how the other two brothers are doing. But anyways, Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Much better fight than the uh, worst fight of the year. Back-to-back uh, -back years, HBO has delivered the worst fight of the year. And in the heavyweight division in all of boxing. Klitschko, Fury, and now Ortiz and uh, Malik Scott. Talk to you guys soon. Peace. You know what it is. It's Barbershop Conversations. Hit the subscribe and the like button today.